Hello lovely people, welcome back to another book chat uh, and welcome to the first book chat of December. Um, I have no idea how that happened. I saw something on Facebook the other day and it was talking about how sort of the first couple of months of the year were really really long and then things just got progressively quicker and quicker and now time is no longer following a linear sequence and November's lasted about five days uh, which uh, that's, that seems right. That that seems about right to me. I can't believe that we're almost at the end of 2018. This just seems very strange. Um, but then again, it could just be the whole aging thing. It's time to speed up or something. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, I am not that into the Christmas spirit just yet. Uh, the decorating has still not been done. Uh, although I have lights. There are lights. You know, that's, that's always a good start. To be honest, this corner doesn't really change anyway. Um, but... I thought that I would maybe do a little bit of seasonal reading this year. Now, this doesn't normally happen because, um, with a generous estimate, I'm about five and a half years behind on my TBR, so uh, probably longer than that actually. So the idea of being organised enough for seasonal reading just, yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. Um, and also, I'm very much a mood reader, so I believe last Christmas when I did a video and my Christmas reading was Kill the Dead. Um, by Richard Cabey, one of the Sad Man Slim books, which was an excellent book, very thoroughly recommend it, uh, but yes, not, not particularly festive. However, this year I thought I might try and get into the whole Christmas spirit thing. So, I have got myself a book, which I have not read yet. I actually did read it once years ago, I think, but I can't quite remember. Anyway, The Stupidest, Ang Stupidest Angel, A Heartwarming Tale of Christmas Terror by Christopher Moore. Now, I love Christopher Moore. He is, um, he writes really, really well, and his books are completely bonkers. They're, they're just off the wall. He has written the best vampire books I think I've ever read, which were um, You Suck, A Love Story, <laughs> and Love Bites, no, Blood Sucking Fiends. Um, and they are just excellent for just a horror, a vampire story. It's a little bit different. Can't recommend them enough. Just proper laugh out loud stuff. Um, but my favourite books of his all deal with Pine Cove, which is a small village, I think, in California. Uh, and the first book of his I read was set there, which was The Lustless of Melancholy Cove, which is still one of my favourite titles ever. Um, and that is an absolutely excellent book as well. If you haven't read um, any Christopher Moore before, that's a great place to start, in my opinion. Um, so, this book goes back to Pine Cove. Um, and it, I really can't remember it at all, so I am wondering if I have actually ever read it. So... I will read you the blurb instead. Twas the night, okay, more like the week, before Christmas, and little Joshua Barker is in desperate need of a Christmas miracle. Josh is sure he saw Santa take a shovel to the head, and now the seven-year-old has only one prayer. Please, Santa, come back from the dead. <laughs> but coming to earth seeking a small child whose wish needs granting is another other than Ar Archangel Raziel. Unfortunately, he's not sporting the brightest halo in the bunch, and before you can say mistletoe, he's botched his sacred mission and sent the residents of Pine Cove headlong into Christmas chaos, culminating in the most hilarious and horrifying holly holiday party the town has ever seen. Dead Santas, giant fruit bats, disillusioned seven-year-olds, stupid angels, hot babes, and brain-eating zombies. What, what more do you want for Christmas? Um, which to me sounds like a perfect Christmas story, to be absolutely honest. Uh, so I'm thoroughly looking forward to reading this. Um, I would say that I'd do another video before Christmas, but probably not because now I've already done one about it. And knowing that it's Christopher Moore, I know I can recommend it 100% because I have yet to read a book of his that has disappointed me. So, question for you then. Do you read seasonally? If you do, what's your favourite Christmas book um, or festive book this sort of time of year? And what's who's an author that, like this, you just know that you're going to enjoy it because you know that you love their humour uh, or their style or, you know, whatever reason you have for particularly liking them. And let me know in the comments. And, yeah, let me know what you're reading this Christmas as well. So, there we go. Happy December. Talk to you soon. Bye.